Okay, now, in case you have issues following this procedure that I kind of outlined here, and you want to use the desktop formula, <laughs> you know, method to get your stuff installed, I think we'll, let's just do it together so that we can do it. I have not done this before, but I think this is an awesome opportunity for me to have the, uh, Rentad installed as a desktop application. So I'll come here, okay, and I'll click on this download. You need to make sure you accept these, you know, terms of service, and you select your corresponding operating system. And I think they don't have uh, Zen test net on this. They only have, you know, the main net on it. So I'm just going to install it for now. So when you click on that download. It, this is the file size, so I'm going to download it. This is for Mac. Let me download it. And this could, this could take a while, but I will resume it once it is done. Okay, so I have this installed right now, or downloaded, not installed. So when I come to here, you'll be able to find this rented, you know, uh, desktop application. So I'm just going to shift it there. And when I come to my application, this is rental right here, okay? So let's open it. Okay, so it's verifying some things. All right, verification complete. This is cool because if you're using this method, you won't have to run, you don't have to run or install rental on your terminal anymore. We can basically generate a seed phrase here. Okay, you can open it. This is a seed phrase which we can use later on you understand that okay and you can this is really cool i think i like this i like what they've done with this but again you can decide to use this method how about let's go all in and see how it goes so i'm going to generate this i'm going to come here and set up a password i'm just going to use for example test so this is my password and click on this save and start daemon so it's informing you to copy this password to a, a, a place I'm just copying it right there and then click save and start daemon and basically you can see that it has started that whole thing <laughs> okay and uh, here is rented this is way very simple okay just way straightforward you can use this means this is cool, but if you want to package your application in such a way that it can be uh, deployed, you know, put on the web and so on, you're going to have to follow my way, which is the Docker experience. So in the next part of this video, I'm going to show you how to have Docker. You just need to have Docker installed, and then we're going to have to make sure that Docker is running on our operating system, and then we can start doing some very nice installation process. Actually, you can quit this procedure here. You can just end it here and this should be off, which is really cool, straightforward, no much drama. You understand? You don't need to go through all this installation process, I think. But I, it's quite important that I showed you how you can install it from both angles. I think the desktop application will be a lot easier for you to work with than you know, running a lot of command line, you know, procedures. So let's go to the next part of this project.